if anything there needs to be some sort of kind of improvement made to kind of make those things not happen again which i don't know if this is true though because i was thinking about it like i remember when i was there last it was really busy it was actually really busy inside when the queues were long it's not like they kind of fake you know some clubs kind of fake the whole demand thing by leaving you outside it's a classic sort of trick they do in like you know snotty pretentious sort of posh nightclubs where they purposely make you wear outside so it makes the club look a little bit more popping than what it is right it's not that kind of issue when I, i've been in there when it's ram when legitimately on the main burger and floor you know where you kind of pass the back sort of um platforms where people dance as cubes people normally stand on that sort of rail where it's kind of like it's a kind of weird you know quasi little chair that you can sit on and sort of watch people perform and sometimes you can pass through that kind of gangway and sometimes there's no room literally no room you kind of have to just walk like a lemming in the mass of people and try and walk up and there's no room whatsoever Whatever. um you know queues coming out of the toilets all the way to the bar like crazy and stuff so when it's full it's actually legitimately full it's not like a lie and i'm sure they have like the bouncers with like for most times i've been out the bouncers in berlin really take seriously their little um clicker they have to count the amount of people in there and i'm sure they have loads of stipulations around fire hats and stuff in terms of the amount of people that are allowed in there and you know if anything you know about german people they're stickler for rules so i'm sure they abide by them so i don't necessarily think there's anything they can do about that but what they can do and improve is definitely the cues for the people cutting in line and stuff that gets so annoying very very quickly and very very old and if anything one thing they could do is just maybe introduce some um guardrail so people can only stand in a single file or maybe at max two so that it kind of limits and makes it very difficult for people to come in and try and queue jump because i feel like most of the queue jump happens because the queue is kind of wide open until you get to the front and at the front it's kind of obvious because you know you're literally near the front um and people like to queue jump just before the front or just before the barrier entry because it's a bit muddled and there's maybe some people picking up bottles there's people passing by seeing friends saying hi so there's a lot of confusion happens people can easily slip in there or just be flagrant and step in front of you but if they had a more robust or a more clear sort of barrier system that kind of was hard for people to get into it would kind of limit the queue cutting because there's no point you queue cutting you know towards the back of the spatty or the spatty that's you know near you spatty was near you right or where the kind of little bit is where people leave their little e-scooters no one's going to do that but everyone wants to queue jump near the front because that's where you kind of get in really quickly so you know it is what it is but big up everybody else have patience to go there and wait that long i could never do it really as much as i love that place um if, if i went on a busy night i'll just go early and ride it out like i said but max i'll wait is four hours like i did previously anything more than that it's just it's just it's just unnecessary given the city you're in it's unnecessary if it's any other place in the world maybe i could consider it maybe but given the city you're in it's just unnecessary to wait outside of a club for 11 hours like you have to respect your time a little bit more but who knows who knows maybe i'm wrong in that regard